Hi guys, Rose here with the Keckling Moon. This is going to be a client's um, animal spirit guide. And um, for the animal spirit guide, I'm going to be pulling for spirit, your body, your mind, your heart, and your soul. So there's five aspects that I will be pulling for. The spirit is basically like your main energy, um, the main animal that is representing your main energy at this moment in time. Um, I'm going to be working with the Wild Unknown Tarot as well as the Animal Spirit Oracle. And I have the Animal Spirit Guidebook here because sometimes the definitions for each card is um, really insightful in the guidebook. And I like to kind of give that as um, part of the reading. And then um, I will be pulling cards from the tarot for each animal guide. So, um, basically, my client is just looking for some insight regarding the new year. Um, we are two weeks in, heading into three weeks. Um, my client just kind of wants to know what the what the energies are going to be like, what spirit animals are around my client, um, and just what is to come. So, we will see. shuffle that anymore let's shuffle the animal cards so um i just ask that the appropriate animals come forward for my client and reveal the messages of guidance that you want to reveal for them talk about spirit let's talk about your main animal guide energy for the year of 2018 and we have wolf beautiful <clears throat> so the first thing that comes to mind when I hear when I think of when I see the wolf card um, is loyalty wolves are loyal they are all about the family or the pack they are all about you know the blood um, so who you associate with who your family is, whether it's blood family or f friends or your, you know, your, whoever is in your close inner circle right now is who you're going to be relying on a lot. And especially this beginning half of the year. So I'm seeing a lot of connections with, um, like I said, family or certain friends that you really trust that you look at as um, really close family members. Um, you are very much a type of person where you like to kind of keep yourself in a very tight knit bubble with certain people. Um, you keep your friends and family very close and the wolf is very um, courageous and they're very independent creatures but they also like to work in teams. So 2018 is kind of looking like the year where you will be um, kind of put in situations where you're gonna have to work with other people so working in teams as well as seeing the value in your connections with your family and friends who are very close to you now let's talk about um let's talk about the body first so the body is going to be represented with the turtle so the turtle is the water um energy water element um, and turtles are very, they look, they're often stereotyped as slow, slow creatures, but they're very careful and calculated with every step that they take. So the fact that your body right now is showing up with the turtle energy is kind of saying, I feel it's telling you to slow down a bit um, and really pay attention to little pieces of your body that maybe like little pieces of you that are hurting lately. Um, 
and I'm getting like a sensation in my legs, perhaps the knee area. Um, so being, you know, more mindful of your body and what is hurting, what is not hurting, um, taking care of your body, your health in that way, um, and slowing it down a bit. Okay. We have the two of pentacle, the mother of wands and temperance. So two of pentacle, um, like I said, this is kind of like that back and forth. So I feel like, um, it's a give and take what you give you're receiving. So if you were giving a lot of yourself body wise, um, a lot of your energy to other people, I feel like that's like the, the energy exchange here that we're seeing. Um, making sure that you are taking time out to cleanse and to recollect yourself. Um, because when you are giving energy out to other people and you are not doing anything to cleanse yourself or to relax and rejuvenate, you are gonna be running on fumes. So I feel like that kind of happens a lot with you. Um, and so I also feel like that's what the turtle energy is kind of saying is to kind of slow it down a little bit. We also have the mother of wands. She's very protective of her eggs, as you could see, um, in the card. So it shows her being very protective of her eggs, taking very good care of her creation. Um, so this, these eggs can represent, um, projects in your life things that are very important to you, you're gonna keep close to you, okay? That can also go aligned with how you are very um, very much connected with friends and family. So maybe there's certain people in your life that you are very protective of. Um, so that will come up as well. But if you are not in a healthy, if you are not healthy and you're not taking care of you, you're not gonna have the energy to be able to do this for other people. So be very mindful of that. And then we have temperance, which I just overall, I see temperance as the need to balance yourself, to recollect, um, meditate, set some time aside to relax, soak in a bath, um, get an extra couple hours of sleep at night, you know, that kind of thing. So I'm really feeling the vibe of just paying attention to your body, paying attention to your health um, so that you could be better in better energy for other people. Now let's talk about your heart or your love, love life. Um, and we have butterfly, beautiful. So this is the air energy. Um, and the butterfly is transformation. The butterfly is metamorphosis. When a butterfly comes up, this is usually a sign of two things to me. One, spirit around you. So in your heart, perhaps there has been someone who has passed that is very close to you and very dear. Maybe you represent them with the butterfly or when you see butterflies, they remind, they, the butterflies remind you of that person. Um, and also I feel the butterfly is coming forward for the heart is saying, this will be the year you will be transforming yourself. I feel like this is you, you're gonna be evolving um, to better yourself for love. Um, whether you're in a relationship or not, it's basically you will be changing your ways, going through a metamorphosis and a transformation for love. Yeah, so we have the world, the four of swords, and ace of wands. Beautiful. <laughs> the world coming up is definitely showing that shift. So ending of chapters and new beginnings on the way. So 2018 is going to be a very abundant year for love in your life. Like I said, if you're single, this can show um, someone new coming in, as we see with the Ace of Wands. Um, if you are in a relationship, this can mean maybe reigniting the flame, okay? Coming full circle, maybe you guys will be celebrating a big... Um, you know, a big anniversary or taking another step in your relationship, that kind of thing. But the Four of Swords is a reminder to you um, to kind of sit back, let it happen. Don't force things to happen as well as when you're sitting back and you're least expecting it, that's when the change is going to take place. So I feel like it's going to be a very powerful, a very powerful year for you as far as love goes. Um, lots of transformation coming up. So this is going to be a big this is going to be a big influence for you. Um, let's see. We did the body, heart. Let's do the um, the mind. We have snake, which is the earth element. 
Um, snake energy is obviously from the earth element. They are grounded. Um, I feel like this is kind of saying full circle. You are connected as a whole. Let's pull the tarot. We have eight of wands, ten of cups, and judgment. I want to pull from the guidebook to see what the snake has to say. Because I feel like its message is going to be powerful. guardian of unawakened magic and creative potential. The snake is a symbol of our highest potential. It's said that Shakti, our creative life force, lies dormant at the base of our spine in the form of a coiled snake. Regardless of whether this image rings true for you, it's well worth considering the amount of unawakened or untapped potential within. So it's kind of like saying you're going to have an awakening moment. Um, from the mind because we're reading about the mind I feel like this is gonna be an awakening moment and I feel like it's gonna be a spark um, a, a thought and an inspiring idea is gonna come to mind and it's gonna change everything the fact that you got it with the um, the eight of wands and it shows kind of like a lightning bolt I feel like this is gonna be something very powerful spirit is really gonna get your attention um, the Ten of Cups. I feel like this is communication on all parts. Not sure if you are, um, if you're really in touch with your psychic abilities, but I feel like the Ten of Cups is kind of revealing um, the connection with spirit. So being able to communicate with spirit or really feeling and tapping into having spirit around you, I really feel like that's what's going to be taking place. I also love that the, the chakra colors are in the cards. So to me, this is kind of saying, it's guiding you almost to make sure you are balancing all of your seven chakras, um, being fully balanced, fully connected, and then everything's gonna kind of happen all at once. Judgment is always a sign to me of spirit trying to get your attention, so pay attention to that as well. The mind is gonna be a big one for you, and I feel like this is gonna start taking place after the big metamorphosis. So you may meet someone, um, you know, if this isn't a love connection, this may be someone you'll meet um, that's going to teach you things or inspire you. So everything's going to kind of be connected, but this is a big one as well. Lots of cool stuff happening this time of year for you. Now the cards are indicating um, later in the year, so I'm feeling more fall season. So I would say September, October, November, will be when this big transformation, this awakening will take place, which makes sense because um, the fact that the Ten of Cups made me think of your connection with spirit, communication and all of that, um, October is a heavy month for all of that kind of stuff. So I can see where that's coming from. And finally, we have um, your soul. <laughs> Oh, and you have the spider. This is also an earth element. To me, when I look at the spider, I think of someone who's very carefully calculating their future. Um, I like to think of the soul as your ultimate purpose, your life purpose, your path. Um, you have been on the road quite some time, but I feel like you're really, this year is you're really going to start discovering who you are and what you're meant to be doing in life. So I really love that. We have the Four of Wands. Kinda like to see the Four of Wands, I see this as an eye. So I feel like that's like your third eye awakening. You're opening your eyes to your full potential. The Two of Swords, I see this as you're really like focusing on that one purpose and kind of dismissing everything else. This is like the one focus that you have at the moment. And then we have the four, or no, I'm sorry, the nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles is a card of abundance. 
um, the fact that it's protected by feathers, um, which feathers are very dainty. They're very, you know, they're not like, it's not steel. It's, it's, it's a very soft, protective layer. It's a lot of trust involved. I see the Nine of Pentacles to reveal lots of abundance in your future path. Um, I feel like you're going to be meeting a lot of people who you will be networking with. I feel like this year you're really going to get a good footing into what your life purpose is and you're really going to feel inspired. Let's see what else the spider has to say. So the spider is creator of prosperity through life's work. Um, let's see, this card reminds us creativity is everywhere. Be process oriented rather than results oriented. So think of the journey, not the destination. And soon your work becomes like the weaving of a magical priceless tapestry, abundance flows. So like I was saying, seeing abundance with the Nine of Pentacles, um, you're really going to figure out, I feel like you're really going to figure out what your purpose is and then you're going to move full force ahead with just the one, the one priority in mind. This is a powerful, um, it's a powerful thing for you. And it's also been a road, a long road for you. I feel like you've kind of embarked on multiple paths trying to figure out your, your, your road in life. Um, and so I do see this as very promising that you will be fulfilling a major piece of your life purpose this year. Um, we, it's 16 minutes. I want to, because we kind of ended early, um, I'm just going to pull real fast for you about this awakening moment. Um, I'm really curious as to when this is going to take place. What is it going to entail? And how can you prepare for it? When is it taking place? We have the High Priestess, the two. So when is it going to take place the two could be february that may be that may be the month that you're going to start feeling very inspired and start seeing changes happen so get ready that's very soon um i also feel a high priestess energy is like at night you're very inspired at night if you do communicate with spirit it's, it happens at night heavily um she's also very in touch with herself her higher self so meditation um, inward focus, journaling, all of that. What will it entail? You have the Ten of Wands, so it's going to be you focusing on the light, cleaning out the clutter. I feel like you're, you're, it's like you're going to find your purpose, but you're going to have to get through a lot of, um, obstacles to get to the final, um, goal. So you'll have this major awakening, but you're also going to have to put in the work to clear out the, the, the crap, the mess, your own personal roadblocks. So it's not going to be an easy path, basically. Um, and then what will you get from it? I think that's what I was going to pull about. <laughs> oh, we have the Ten of Swords. It's going to be a life-changing experience. Um... Ten of Swords is not easy. It is exhausting. It is the ending. It's a 10. You got a 10. It's going to be a lot of shadow work. A lot of um, tapping into your past. Dealing with things, maybe emotions that you don't really want to tap into. Um, but it's going to be life changing and it is going to metamorphosize you. So don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of this awakening. We have the phoenix that popped out. Um, the phoenix was born again. It died and then it was it, it rose up from its ashes. It's like your second chance in life. 
So think of it that way, your second chance at life, your second chance at living, fulfilling your passions. Um, this is a big, a powerful year for you. I'm very excited. So this concludes your animal spirit reading. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you and I hope that you enjoyed your reading. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me and I look forward to reading for you again. Anyone who's watching, this reading is available in my shop. Click the link in the description box and I will see you guys later. Bye guys.